I'm going to cover gray hair. Gray hair, the technical term for gray hair is canotees or canotides, whichever way you pronounce it. Canotides results from the loss of the natural melanin pigment. Melanin and pigment meaning hair color. It can also be referred to as unpigmented hair. Other than the absence of the pigment, gray hair is exactly the same as pigmented hair. The two terms the two types of canities are congenital and acquired. Congenital exists at or for birth. It occurs in albinos who are born without pigment in the skin, hair, eyes, and occasionally in individuals with normal hair. Acquired develops with age and is results of genetics. Although gray hair is also responsible for premature catities, required catities may develop due to prolonged illness or anxiety. Ringed hair. Ringed hair is a variety of gray characterized by alternating bands of gray and pigmented hair throughout the length of the hair strand. Now we're going to talk about another disorder, hypertrichosis. Hypertrichosis is also known as herpes. It is a condition of abnormal growth of hair. Mustache or light beards on women are examples of hypertrichosis. The treatment is electrolysis, laser, any of those permanent hair removals. You also have shaving, tweezing, electrolysis, I'm sorry, electronic tweezers, tweezers, depilatories, epilators, threading, and sugaring. Remember, in our state, we cannot do any type of permanent hair removals. Another hair disorder is going to be trichopolosis. Trichopolosis, the technical term for split ends. When you look at trichopolosis, I want you to look at the bold printed word that I have in black. When you see the black word like that, it's called chop. Think of your split ends, you have to chop your ends off. You will always have to trim the hair because you cannot fix uh, split ends. Then you have monotrelixis. Monotrelixis, the term for beaded hair. The beaded hair is easily uh, between the beads and the nodules. It will break in between those beads. That treatment is hair and scalp conditioning. You gotta do hair and scalp conditioning because the hair is beaded. Next disorder is trichorhexis nodules. This is going to be where I highlighted the word X, X's. Think of it was brittle breakup and the nodule or nodus is going to be the knotted hair. So the technical term is knotted hair. It is characterized by being dry and if a uh, formation of the nodules are swelling among the hair shaft. The hair is easily breaks. It breaks real easy. Your treatment for that is going to soften the hair with conditioner and moisturizers. We're going to soften the hair with conditioners and moisturizers. So think of excess nodules meaning knotted brittle hair or the reverse brittle knotted hair. Not to be confused with trichopolosis, which is the brittle ends or the ends that need to be cut. Now you have fragilistis. 
cranium. That's the technical term for brittle hair. The brittle hair may split and may uh, at any point in the length of the hair. Again, I'm going to repeat that. The hair may split at any part of the length of the hair. The treatment for that is going to be hair and scalp conditioning and cutting above the split ends to prevent further damage. Again, please make sure you pay attention to the names and the treatments because they are similar and very close because these are also test questions. Now we're going to discuss the dandruff and mel melesthesia. The technical term for dandruff is pityriasis. The technical term for dandruff is pityriasis. The shedding of excessive products or production, I'm sorry, the excessive production and accumulation of large visible crumbs of skin cells. Frequent use of anti-dandruff shampoo is essential for controlling the dandruff. Remember, dandruff is not contagious. Dandruff is not contagious. Dandruff is a result of a fungus called melesthesia. A fungus called melesthesia. It is a natural reoccurring or natural occurring fungus. It is a natural occurring fungus. Again, remember, when you do not have good hygiene and, 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 and what you're eating, it can help, it not help, it can actually um, prolong the situation or heighten your dandruff and make them hard to control. It is, pre it is present on all human skin, this melesthesia, the active or the natural occurring fungus. When grown out of the out of control, it tends to cause other types of symptoms in your dandruff, which we will cover the other two. The next is going to be dandruff, and we're going to talk about melesthesia. The fact such as stress, age, hormones, poor hygiene can cause the fungus to multiply and worsen the dandruff symptoms. Modern anti-dandruff shampoos that contain antifungal bacteria and zinc and psilocybin and um, sulfide that control the dandruff by suppressing the growth of the melesthesia. The shampoos condition pyrithotone Zinc are available in very in a very large and different types of varieties of formulas, you guys. You can buy it over the shelf or even get it from your doctors. They're all types and they're gentle enough for everyday use, even for color treated hair. The two types of dandruffs are going to be pitorized steel noise. This is a more severe case of dandruff, characterized by accumulation of greasy or waxy scales mixed with sebum that uh, sticks to the scalp and is encrusted. When this condition is accompanied by redness and inflame or inflammation, it is called seborrheic dermatitis, seborrheic dermatitis. Seborrheic dermatitis can also be found in the eyebrows and in the beard. In the eyebrows and in the beard. You should not perform a service on anyone who has dandruff as the scalp is irritated and itchy. Anti-dandruff shampoo can be recommended to a client with mild conditions but anyone with severe case should be referred to a physician. Remember, your pitorized to steel noise is characterized by greasy or waxy scales mixed with sebum. And it is the most severe case of 
pityriasis, which is also known as that. Pityriasis capitis simplex, the technical term for a classic dandruff that is characterized by scalp irritation, large flakes, and and itchy scalp. The scales may attack to the I'm sorry, the scales may attach to the scalp in masses and scatter loosely in the hair and it can fall on your shoulders. Regular use of anti dandruff shampoo and conditioners and topical lotions can and are good or the best treatments. This concludes our conversation about scalp and hair disorders. Again, this is Keisha Kirby or Miss Kirby narrating my student made in lead slides. Thank you.